And then you make the ultimate mistake. You walk outside. And every animal in the world knows that you're fucked up. <laughs> Even the birds are going, ah! Ah! Mr. Hitchcock, please! <laughs> Finally, I saw once my cat ate a Valium. So sad, so little kitty. He ate the Valium. So I'm sitting over in the corner looking at his paws going, me? Oh shit, I knew how that went. <laughs> oh yeah, meow! <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Do you ever come home late at night, turn on your light, your cat's in the cat box going, turn off that damn light! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the shit everywhere! <laughs> My cat got revenge on me, though. My cat got revenge because one morning, Mr. Happy woke up before I did. <laughs> morning! The cat was laying on the end of the bed and went, oh, a mouse! <laughs> oh, 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 Lord! <laughs> Oh, nothing more painful in the world is prying those four little claws. Especially when the cat's going. That's when I invented the catapult. And the cat thought he was safe too, hit the wall and went, oh shit, Teflon. But you know your cat doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about you. If it's warm, sure, he'll be nice cold outside, he'll run up against your leg going, I love you. <laughs> but it's like late at night, usually five o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden your cat wanders downstairs going, gotta go outside. You better open the door. I'm gonna take a dump on the rug. You know the shag carpet. And you haul your ass downstairs, you open the door, the cat goes, later. <laughs> you think, now I can go back to bed. No, no. Kitty has more surprises for you. Because Kitty goes out and finds the only other cat in heat in 800 miles. And has the sex of a lifetime under your bedroom window. Sitting under there going, oh, yes! More forepaw! Oh, no! Oh, get it up! Oh, name the kittens after me! Then he has the audacity after fucking his brains out to come home at 6 o'clock in the morning going, I gotta come back in now. I better come in. I'm gonna fuck up the screen. You haul your ass downstairs, open the door again. The cat's going, how you been? <laughs> Usually your dog's over here going, oh, you're gonna get it now. <laughs> oh, God, oh, boy, they're gonna kick you all oh, off. Oh. Your cat just walks past your dog going, you asshole. <laughs> You never see a cat go, you never see a cat out in like a major park going, hey, a frisbee. They <laughs> never go for that stupid shit. It's always a dog going, I'll do it. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I'll piss on a tree? I don't care. Jump out, want me to swim in the water, get the dead bird? I'll do it. They have the dogs that work like, in the, like to smell out drugs. Those dogs are lucky though. End of the day, you see the dog sitting in their kennels going, hey, great day, wasn't it, damn it? Yeah, Bob, yeah, I know, I knew Rennie, we, he and I were like this. <laughs> I don't know, and then you see the dogs, the other dogs who work in the bomb squad going, I don't want to die. <laughs> I've got puppies to feed. But how? How do they ever make little dogs like Pekingese? Yeah. How do they make a Pekingese? How do they make a Pekingese and someone say, oh, look, a dog that's hit in the face with a shovel. <laughs> Strange little dogs. They all sound like they have asthma, too. I have a strange dog. I have a dog called a Malamute. Yes. The dog is so mellow. The dog is just the kindest. It doesn't even bark. It just goes, wow. I have a little California cat that goes, meow. We used to have a little New York cat. Didn't even meow. Just go like, what do you want from me? Yeah, it's strange, but in New York, though, they have rats that are so damn big, they sit outside the apartment buildings going, Here, kitty, come on, man! <laughs> and if you ever lived in New York, if you ever lived in New York, you come home late at night, you turn on your light, and in your apartment, there's 17 cockroaches by the refrigerator going, Hello, my honey, hello, my bitch. <laughs> and the two biggest cockroaches of all are standing by the refrigerator going, Big can of raid in their hand going. <laughs> Damn shit. 
You cop a buzz yet? Let's go over there and stay in that Roach Motel. They go in the Roach Motel, there's a big black widow spider going, I got some for your ass. Praying mantis wandering out going, Hare Krishna. Sorry I got off on that, but I feel like, hey, who cares? Wait, don't go now. Don't go, you're gonna miss the really heavy duty stuff. Okay, well wait. No pressure. Let's put on that closed circuit video. Ah, <laughs> uh, she, she'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> Go see if she's okay, will you? <laughs> she might be dead in there, let's see. <laughs> Damn it, the poor woman might be trapped. Allison. Her name is Allison? Allison? Allison. Allison. <laughs> Allison, this is the police. We know you're in there. Allison, if you come out, we won't have to have a fight, Allison. Come on out. We're going to throw in some stuff in there if you're not coming out, Allison. We've got the dogs out here. <laughs> Allison, we brought your mother. Allie, come out. <laughs> Allie, come out of the bathroom now, girl. Allison, we brought Rabbi Tom with us, too. <laughs> Allie, what are you doing in there? Ever since you've been hanging out with the chicks, has you been a different girl? <laughs> Allison, damn it, girl, come out. She's safe in there. To her, it's okay, I'll find her. <laughs> Feel like those native guys. <laughs> Oops, this man's backing up and these people are going, shit, we paid good money to get stepped on. <laughs> Say, hold on, I got your chair. Don't be afraid. <gasps> Sorry, well, she's, she's gone now. Well, I guess she won't be coming back. She won't be needing this then. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Now they're gonna go, is she gonna go find her? She's okay, it's all right. Well, well, slowly but surely, everybody go look for Allison. I don't know what happened to the club. One woman went out and the rest followed her. What happened? I don't know, it was like that. Finally, he was left on stage going, who was that woman? She went away. It was Mrs. Happy. <laughs> you hear that, boy? Uh, this is. Oh, welcome to the Sierra Club's first annual rolls. <laughs> She's back. Allison, you're safe. Oh, you're safe. Oh, Allie. Oh, my God. I didn't think she'd come back. Now your friend's trapped in there now. Oh my God, I can see them in the afternoon news. They're going, Allison finally reappeared today. Another wonder of club performing. Oh, sorry we just did five minutes on you. It's, I guess that shows you where my act's at, I guess. Doing five minutes on a poor innocent woman going back to the bathroom. I know many of you are thinking, singing? Well, thinking either one. You know, Uncle Ronnie has a plan. He's just not telling any of us. You ever look at Ronald Reagan and say, my God, that man's severely medicated. I think Nancy's been dubbing him for years and haven't told us yet. Ever notice? He doesn't speak while she's drinking water. But yet, you know, there's a wonderful thing he does. There's the space shuttle. There's a space shuttle up there. It's so good to know if there's ever a nuclear war, there'll be three men in space going, what was that noise? <laughs> and every time they send up the space shuttle, the toilets back up. Why can't they deal with cosmic caca? <laughs> every time they're up there, there's usually an announcement like, uh, yes, yeah, squealer one night. Uh, we have a warning here. Uh, what is it about? We have a major problem here with our feces recycling system. Uh, Bill, can you be more specific? All right, sir, the shit's hit the fan up here. And the fan's on high, if you catch my drift. You know that a toilet backing up in zero gravity is like, Wow! They always run it through the computer, too. We've run it through the computer, Bob? Yes, sir. What did it say? Jiggle the handle? Fuck that, we're going outside. You ready, Bib? Yes, sir. 
What giants did for mankind, what great relief for me. <laughs> Mr. Happy in Space. <laughs> Let it rip, Bob. You better reel it in, you're on TV. Fire one. Whoa, damn, whoa. He's, whoa, he's a tether me in, Bob, tether me in. Look, I'm writing my name over the entire Soviet Union. Look at... Strange. Russian farmers the next day going, Look at this. This is nice, now look. This is what I was trained for. I was trained to be an actor, this is it. I know, I, I wanted to do Hamlet, I really could have done it, except when I was at school once, that's why they threw me out, I guess. I was doing Hamlet and I went, alas, poor Yorick, strike. <laughs> and Hausman, John Hausman, his last words to us was always nice when he said, the theater needs you, I'm going off to sell Volvos. I wanted to be a method, and I could, and I couldn't. I wanted to be just like those people. They wanted to teach us to enunciate every word, to speak like this, like Richard Burton for those Equus beer. I will need this beer more than you need this beer. Maybe like, I could have been a method actor, maybe. Maybe like Dustin Hoffman. Or maybe like Al Pacino. Then I could do like Al Pacino when he did Richard III. It was like... But... <laughs> People always look at method actors going, what's he saying? Shut up, he feels it. <laughs> the man I really want to see play one day is that I want to see Jack Nicholson play Hamlet. Yes. See him out there, have like little denim tights on. Yeah, they're going, to be or not to goddamn be. Whether it's nobler to take the caca or sling it right back at him. Stream fantasies like that. Like this. Oh, I'm glad there's someone there. <laughs> I'd like to do something very special for you right now. John Davidson sings Devo. <laughs> Come on now, whip it. Hey. Whip it good now. Thank you. Beat me, call me trash. Hey. Try to remember. Shit, I knew how that went. Wait a minute. <laughs> Try to remember. One more time. Fuck it, I know. Wait. Try. Oh, fuck it. Let's go on. <laughs> Too much pressure, like Liza. Love, start singing. <laughs> 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 They gave me some toys to play with. Yes, look at, oh my God, Catholic self-abuse. Go to hell, go to hell. <laughs> is this your first time here? <laughs> this is wonderful. Come on, well, we're fuck it. We can't fly with just one. These are one. Oh my God. Well, this is great. Men of Troy. We've had another budget cut on the defense plan. <laughs> this year, we'll be forced to fight with Tupperware again. Remember, burp your shield before you go into combat. <laughs> this must be really bitch and something I go, oh shit, oh damn it, I can't. Oh, another Christian crusade. All right, let's follow the children. Let's go. Oh, this is, oh, look. My God, a diaphragm for an elephant. <laughs> Simba, come on. <clears throat> come on now, honey. Mojo's coming and we just got to put something in there. Whoa. All those musicals moving around, don't you know? <laughs> Yokohama where the bombs come falling from the plane. Oh my God, somewhere Da Vinci was sitting in a small garage going, Ah, oh, nice idea. I think maybe I'll write about it backwards and just to piss people off. Oh, oh, yes. Oh. Will this make you happy? I think it just might be. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice to know I went too far and there's a whole people going, yes, you did. 
People like people, a mass conscience going, you took that chance, boy. So like an Irish priest, you walk out going, damn it, boy, you're there for a moment and then you went over the fucking brink. Now, come on now, boy, come with me, son, give me the gun.